Junior. <laughs> Hello, my cherubs. I'm in Italy at my nan's. I decided to come very last minute, obviously, because I'm moving away. Well, if you don't know, I am going traveling and then moving to Australia soon. Ah, very exciting. So I obviously needed to come and see my nanny before I go. My nan, my granddad, my auntie and my cousins all live in Italy, just in a really cute, quiet town. It's my favorite place in the world. I just feel so calm. And serene here it's gorgeous i got here yesterday but i it was such a long travel day because i had to get the plane and then like three trains so by the time i got here i just wanted to see my nan so i didn't film anything but we got the most incredible poke bowls the place is just opened in my nan's town and it's so nice the poke bowl was incredible one of the best i've ever had and i'm a poke bowl connoisseur i would say it was delish it's very early right now i've just gone out with my nan to pick up some croissants and some soy milk so i can make a little bevy yes i did bring some matcha with me because i don't drink coffee it makes me feel like i'm gonna have a stroke so i brought my little tub of matcha with me and we're gonna have a matchy and a croissant it's gonna be absolutely it's magnificent I'm just gonna chill today to be honest this vlog is not going to be anything extravagant when i come to my nan's it's just as if i'm going to my nan's as if she lived in england we just kind of watch tv together and don't really do that much so i'm not promising a very exciting vlog this is just what i do when i'm here which is not very much it's cold here just like it is in england so i'm gonna fill up my little hot water bottle oh also i dyed my hair it's like a blondie ginger strawberry blonde type of vibe just i wanted it a bit lighter for moving away might get it touched up once more before i go to get it a bit blonder but we shall see but i love it i think it's so cute coffee and then go on a little stroll just around the town hi i have my coffee decaf cappuccino cappuccino di soia decaffeinato porta via grazie <laughs> i've never been here in the autumn before i've been in the spring and i've been in the summer and it's so gorgeous in the autumn all the leaves are just so golden and it just looks like i'm in a little film it's so gorgeous i haven't booked a flight home yet i was gonna go back on tuesday but I think I might go back on Wednesday instead. I mean, I could stay as long as I want, but I do have some things to do at home at some point. But we shall see. The world's my oyster. I am in a movie right now. Oh no. World's worst vlogger award goes to me. It goes to me. But when I tell you I've done nothing today, nothing exciting, I walked to the shop, got some groceries, and that was about it. So you haven't missed much. But my nan is just out to get us some poke bowls. I'm very excited because I'm hungry. The meal last night was so good. I didn't really get any clips. Again, world's worst vlogger award. But I'm just enjoying my time here so much. I'm just soaking up every minute. So I just keep forgetting to pull out the camera because I know I'm only here for a short period but it was delicious, the meal. We just got loads of things to share. There were these, there were these roast potatoes and they had loads of rosemary on them and they were really crispy and oily and I had three plates of them. They were delicious. I didn't bring any of my hair products with me. So I've washed my hair and it's gone so frizzy. I put this on it and I, it's in Italian. I don't even know if it's for your hair, but it looks a bit like a hair serum. So I've just, I've just gone with it, but yeah. It's a little bit of a mess. Tonight's film of choice is The Bucket List. We're on a Jack Nicholson kick. We watched Anger Management the other night, which is one of my favorite comedy films. It's so good. And this is also one of my favies. Guys, I don't know what it is about this top, but it makes my nipples look absolutely <laughs> hilarious. They look like little cones. My hair do be looking crazy right now. I love this color so much though. It's so close to my natural colour. This is the closest I've had to my natural hair colour since I've been 13. Lord, I wish I could go back and tell that 13 year old, you dare dye that gorgeous red hair black. Yummy. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Look at that. Beautiful. We're joking about that at least. This. <laughs> and you. Falling up some water to have a tea. And some snackies, these. 
Oh, my, my Manan's favorites, they're so good. Hello, cherubs. It's my last day. I booked my flight last night to go home tomorrow morning. I'm about to go on my hot girl walk. It's so sunny and nice today. It's supposed to get to 18 degrees later, which is such a little treat. I'm gonna sit outside on the balcony and read my book. It's gonna be a delicious time. Um, I'm borrowing my Nan's Gucci handbag to go on my hot girl walk because I didn't bring any bags with me. I'm gonna put a little podcast in. I feel like I have been the worst vlogger this trip but i genuinely haven't been doing anything i've been watching gilmore girls and going on my walks and that's about it but yeah let's go this outfit is really cute actually i've got my little headband on my jumper that's actually my dad's i've stolen these leggings from my nan i've also stolen these ankle warmers from my nan also stolen this bag from my nan so the only thing i'm wearing that's actually mine is my headband and my headphones but let's go on our little hot girl walk. Rawr. I had to get changed into a t-shirt because it's warm. This park here is my favorite place to walk. It's so beautiful. Look at this poor little kitty cat. Guys, it's so sunny and warm and glorious. I forget how good the sun makes me feel. I'm back, another outfit change because my other t-shirt is fucking sweaty and smells like B.O. I'm gonna make an iced coffee, not a matcha. <gasps> I'm craving an iced coffee in the sun. Okay, I have this milk, which is the best milk in the entire world. It's walnut milk and it tastes like crunchy nut. It's so good. And I got a little decaf espresso from the cafe. Gorgeous. Guys, this is the most magnificent iced coffee I've ever had. Mm. Okay, my flight is early tomorrow, so I'm gonna make some overnight oats to take with me because the choice in the airport is sparse, to say the least. Do, do, do. This is an empty KFC container. Nan, you don't have any cinnamon, do you? Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. The crunchy nut milk. And then I'll add in some bluebies, and then I'll also take these with me so I can have some fresh on top as well. Mm. They're good blueberries. Add a teeny tiny bit of honey. I don't like my oats too sweet and this is quite sweet as it is. Okay, I'll let that set in the fridge and then when it gets a bit harder, I'll put some peanut butter on the top. Nan has made my favorite broth for dinner. sweet cherubs i'm back home in drab cold england it is so cold and gray and miserable here but don't win jelly stop whinging you're lucky to be alive and all that um i had the loveliest time away i i love my nan so much that i could burst she's just the kindest most generous cute human like she's always just treat me like a little angel ever since i've been little like the love that she gives me is just so unconditional and i know you'll be watching this nanny i love you more than anything in the entire world and i can't wait for the next time that i see her but i thought i would give you just some quick tips because i don't know if i mentioned in the video but i'm a very anxious flyer i'm a very anxious not an anxious traveler i don't mind getting trains and buses and whatnot but flying I hate, I've always hated it. With every single fibre of my being, I spend the whole time picturing me and the other patrons on the train plummeting to our deaths. I get so nervous the build up to a flight. I get so nervous on the flight. I basically spend the whole time just really trying to calm myself down. So I thought I would give you some of my biggest tips, especially by yourself, because I find it a lot harder when I'm by myself, obviously just because there's less distraction, there's less comfort. So first of all, I will never have any caffeine before a flight. I don't drink coffee anyway, but I love me a matcha. I love me an extra strong matcha, but I don't even have a matcha or a tea that contains caffeine before a flight just in case it does make me feel any more panicky just in case it raises my heart rate a little bit i will just avoid it at all costs 
Number two, especially if I'm by myself, I will make sure that I have loads of podcasts, TV shows and music downloaded on my phone so that when you don't have Wi-Fi on the plane or in the airport or whatever, you just have plenty of stuff on your phone that you can just pop your earphones, your headphones on. And I particularly like podcasts just because it's quite comforting to have someone talking and it just feels kind of like you're with someone so I always make sure I have plenty of podcasts downloaded. I was actually listening to the Osborne's podcast on the way home and the way there and it's so funny so I would definitely recommend that. Ozzy Osbourne is one of my favourite people in the entire world, Black Sabbath is one of my favourite bands and it's a fabulous podcast so I recommend. Number three is I will drink a lot of water on the plane. You get so dehydrated on a flight, which can make any anxious sensations a lot more heightened. You know, if you're dehydrated, your heart rate will go up. You'll just feel a little bit crusty overall. So I'd make sure I drink a lot of water. If I'm having a wine, because on a long haul flight, I am partial to a glass of vino or a gin tea. You know what I mean? If I am having a wine, I will make sure I drink even more water to kind of balance it out. And number four, I really just try to remind myself that I wouldn't be able to get anywhere. I wouldn't be able to see all the gorgeous, beautiful places in the world without getting on a plane. And it's just necessary if you are someone who loves traveling like me, it's my favorite thing to do in the world. It's just something that is necessary a lot of the time to see all the beautiful places in the world. Realistically, you have to get on a flight and as horrible as I find it, I just really remind myself that there's no other way to get to these countries. There's no other way to have all of these amazing, unique experiences without doing it. So that always makes me feel a little bit better. I always like to scroll through old pictures of trips on my phone when I'm flying and it just kind of takes away the fear a little bit and pumps me full of excitement. You know what I mean? So those are my tips for any other nervous flyers out there. I know they're just little tips, but hopefully they help a little bit. And I love you. I hope you've enjoyed watching. I know this vlog was a little bit all over the place and I didn't get much footage, but I was really just enjoying my time there. And like I said, it was just a really relaxed trip. I love you. Have a good day. Bye. <laughs>